Hello and welcome to another video. My name is Boxiest, and today we are going to continue the What If series. What if events had gone differently? And in this What If, we're going to change the history of Cobra Kai. What if Kenny never existed during the events of Cobra Kai? So in this timeline, Kenny wouldn't be born, so Sean would be an only child, and he would still have his friends, and one of his friends would still steal from Sean's family, but Sean would never find out. So Sean wouldn't go to Juvie in this timeline, and the events of Cobra Kai would still happen. Cobra Kai Season 1 and 2 would stay the same, the school fight would still happen, and Robbie would still kick Miguel off the balcony. Miguel would be paralyzed, and Robbie would go to Juvie, and without Sean in Juvie, things wouldn't be as bad, and Robbie wouldn't be bullied in Juvie. Kreese would still try manipulating Robbie in Juvie, but Robbie wouldn't listen to anything Kreese has to say. And without Sean around, Robbie would get the chance to write back to Sam. So Sam and Robbie would reconnect, and eventually Sam would visit Robbie in Juvie. Robbie would be happy to see Sam there, and the rest of the events of Cobra Kai Season 3 would still happen. Johnny would still help Miguel recover, and by the time Miguel could walk, Johnny would still form Eagle Fang, and those events would carry on. And by the time Robbie gets out of Juvie, he would go with Daniel. So Robbie would rejoin Miyaido in this timeline. Sam and Robbie would get back together. Cobra Kai would still have the rivalry with Eagle Fang and Miyaido. Eagle Fang and Miyaido wouldn't team up, so there wouldn't be a house fight in this timeline. So Hawk would stay in Cobra Kai in this timeline. The night of December 19th would be pretty peaceful, and the three dojos would train for the All Valley. Terry Silver wouldn't come back in this timeline, and then he wouldn't become a bully and he would still try to get together with Leah. Each dojo would have their male and female champion, except Eagle Fang, but in this timeline Piper would join Eagle Fang, and the night of the All Valley, the three dojos would enter, and they would start winning their matches, and since Cobra Kai didn't have Miyaido, they wouldn't make it as far, so Hawk and Tori would be the only ones to make it to the qualifying rounds. It would still be Hawk and Miguel in the semifinals, but Hawk and Miguel wouldn't be friends, Hawk and Miguel would fight aggressively, but Miguel would still be injured in this timeline. But Miguel would choose to keep fighting, and Miguel would beat Hawk in this timeline. It would be Miguel and Robbie in the finals. Miguel and Robbie would still have their rivalry, but Miguel wouldn't fight with anger, and Robbie would be focused. Robbie would fight using Miyaido, while Miguel fought using Eagle Fang. It would be a close match, but Robbie would defeat Miguel in this timeline and T would be the boys all valley champion. It would still be Tori and Sam in the girls finals, but Sam would defeat Tori in this timeline, and she would be the girls all valley champion. So Miyaido would win overall, and since they never made a deal with Kreese, the three dojos wouldn't close down, and they would continue to operate. Overall, things would be a lot more peaceful in this timeline, and that is where I'm gonna end this what if. Thank you guys for watching. What do you guys think would've happened? if Kenny never existed during the events of Cobra Kai. Let me know in the comments below. All members have access to emojis that can be used in comments and live streams. This isn't mandatory. This is only something extra. If you want to support the channel even more, YouTube lets me know that the majority of you are not subscribed. So if you guys could subscribe, that would be much appreciated. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like this video, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. And I'll see you guys next time.